We are on. We are on. It is on. And crack a lacking. It is on. And crack a lacking. I want to get a scripture out. I want to get a scripture out. Let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> get my. Uh, I think I'm loud enough without having that to be so close. Okay. I'm going to get a scripture out, y'all. Just give me one hot second. There we go. We got to have it linger. Got to get that vibration going, okay? Got to get that vibration. I'm feeling a good vibration. Good, 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 good vibration. I ain't going to keep you long. I'm just going to split the deck and take the top card off. Bam. Ooh, two of them came out, y'all. That means Spirit got something to say to two of y'all. <laughs> no, that's not right. It's not two of y'all. How about that? Okay, come on, y'all. Here we go. Luke 145 says, or Luke 145, chapter 1, verse 45. It's only one scripture, not verse 4 and 5. But Luke 145 says, And blessed is he. I put she. Look, y'all. <laughs> he, she. Guess what, y'all? Did you know spirit is not a he or a she? Okay? Spirit is a spirit. It, goes, it floats, okay? Spirit floats in and out. All right, anyway. I'm tripping. I know. I'm sleepy. I know that. And blessed is he or she that believed. For there shall be a performance of those things which were told. I put her. Because the Bible is full of he's. And I said, wait a minute. It just means. I heard a pastor say one time. He just means he and she in the form of human kind. Human kind. Whatever. Okay. Anyway. I put she, because I'm a she, her. Okay, I'm not a they, them. They got pronouns. They've been having pronouns for a f she. at least two, three years, if not more, from unbeknownst to me, okay? What's your pronouns? Put them in the comments. You can be whoever you want to be, right? I guess. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. Okay. Man. Did anybody, did, have spirit spoke to y'all? Have you had spirit? That's just one. We got one more to go to. I just want to talk about that one first. Have you had? Your angels, your spirit guides, God, Christ, whatever you call it, okay? Whoever you pray to. Have you had that inner voice? There you go. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's call it that. Okay? Because if you could name God, or if you could name him, or it, or she... If you could name her, then that's not who God is. That's what I heard. That's what they say. It resonates with me. I don't know. Does it resonate with you? But have you had your inner voice tell you something? Those things shall happen. They shall come to pass like Luke 1, 45 says. Let's go ahead to this one here. And it's Psalm chapter 5, verse 1, 2, and 3. So verse 1 and verse 1 through 3. And it says, give ear. Listen. That's what it says. Give ear to my words. Oh, that's David. So David, apparently David wrote the, the book of Psalms, right? So now this is David talking to the Lord. Okay, it says, give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. In other words, consider what I meditate on. Consider my thoughts. Consider my mind. Consider my imagination. 
is what David is saying here to the Lord. He said, hearken, which is also give ear or listen. Another word for give ear or listen is hearken. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my king and my God. For unto thee I will pray. For unto thee will I pray. My voice shall you hear in the morning, O Lord. He telling the Lord. That's how, mm, when I get sleepy, I start itching. I be itching. And that's why I know it's past my bedtime. And my voice is tripping too. So it says, uh, for unto thee will I pray. It's like I was saying, it sounds like a command. My voice shall you hear. You shall hear. Shall you hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning, I'll direct my prayer to you. And I will look up. Guess what, y'all? That don't mean look up. Because he ain't no God and he ain't no God in the sky and a pie in the sky. You ain't getting finna get your piece of pie from the sky. When I meditate, because it says be still and lay on your bed and meditate on, on my word or med meditate upon your bed night and day. That's what it say. Okay? I look up. I literally look up. I close my eyes and I look up. When I go, when I don't go up like that, I just look up. So, so I know my eyes is right here. And when I when it's time to meditate, I look up to my higher self, to my mind, which is um. So it says the kingdom of heaven is within. I feel like I'm looking up. To the um, kingdom of heaven within me through my mind. So I close my eyes and I go. I just I just imagine myself, my higher self, looking into who I am as a higher being, as God within me. I meditate and I. It's hard. It's hard to explain because I'm not moving my physical body upward looking up that's to me that's not what it means it means look up to your higher self within yourself look up look within look up within it don't say that but you gotta either see the bigger picture you gotta read between the lines or you gotta have it be revealed to you now i never said reveal this to me reveal how do I know what to, how do you know what to ask for? How do you know to ask for something to be revealed to you? You can, but specifically like that, this thing right here, what I'm, what I'm talking about, I will look up. It's something that you just know. There is a knowing. Anybody ever know? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? I'm just saying, y'all, it's uh, it's very peculiar because we're a peculiar people, a chosen generation. We are First Peter two and nine royal priesthood. That part. We are royal priesthood. Yes, we are. So it's only eight minutes on the clock, baby. Let's get a future oracle, higher self oracle reading from the oracle deck of future higher self. All right, nine minutes on the clock. Let's go ahead and get down on it. Get down on it. Get down on it. Get down on it. Get, down on it. get right to it. I want to say get down to it, but that's not the song that's coming out at all. Okay. Yep. There it go. Whoop. There it is. Whoop. There it is. Shaka laka, shaka laka, shaka laka, shaka. Shaka laka, shaka laka, shaka laka, shaka. Let's get down to it. We got one card that came out. And it says, sometimes the best things are created from chaos. Sometimes 
the best things are created from chaos. I almost want to cry on this right here because what's coming to my heart, my mind right now is something that has happened to me recently that was created, that was a form of major freaking chaos in my life. Very chaotic moment, few minutes that lasted a few minutes. But, um, uh, the best things is in life, the best things are created from chaos. I got my peace, y'all. That's one of the best things that came out of it. I got my freedom. I've been freed up, put it that way, because I had my freedom already, okay? Um, what else? I think I like this hand. I like it over here so I can be close to the mic so I can let y'all know what's really going on, okay? Um, type in the comments if you've had some good things come out of chaotic times or chaotic moments or even a whole year of chaos. Some of y'all might say, I feel like I've been in chaos or a chaotic situation, or a cycle, a chaotic cycle for five, ten years. I don't know. It's You know, it's your story. But this came out for a reason, and I'm glad because I'm compelled to talk about it. Um, like I said, I got freed up from some things that came out of a chaotic, uh, I can't say nightmare, but... If you can resonate with the chaotic nightmare, device is offline. I'll be doggone. I'll fix that later. I cannot believe this. I got these cameras, but they be tripping at these cameras right here. And I'm trying to make it work. And it says it's offline. That's just not right. Now, before I got on the video, I just connected it to the Wi-Fi and it was online. But anyway, this is our future higher self deck. Um, and it's giving us wisdom. And the energy from this card is peace and freedom created from chaos. Now, that's just my story. What's your story? Type it in the comments below. I move this around so that everybody can see it so that. I don't know if it's focused, you know, or not. If I get too close, if it's blurry. But you guys get the gist of it. You get the you get the, the idea of it. 13, 16 on the clock. Um, let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get another one. God dog, it's two of them fell out. That's okay. It was meant to be. That's how I feel about it. What what will be will be. It was meant to be. You are never lost, but only forging a path to new worlds. You guys ever heard of new timelines? I believe that's new world. A whole new world. Um, I feel like even if you do feel lost, just know that you're not. That's what this card is saying. You're not lost. You're simply forging a path to new worlds. Did you know you can go into new worlds? You can quantum leap into a whole new reality. It's all in your mind. It, it depends on how you feel. It depends on how your, how your belief system is. And if you're transforming, if you're transitioning, if you're changing from old to new. You could literally quantum leap into a whole new world, a whole new reality. So don't feel lost. And if you do feel lost, it's okay. I can't tell you what not to feel. Look at this card that's staring at me. I literally just created a video tonight that said this. What you're seeking 
is seeking you. I'll be darned. And that's true too. What you're looking for will always be looking for you. And the reason you're looking for it is because it's been implanted in you, imparted into you, revealed to you in a vision, in a dream or something. You got it from somewhere, okay? You got it from your imagination and that's where God lives. Uh-oh. Well, I thought God was in my heart. Yeah, you got a couple of hearts. I thought my heart was right here on my left side. Who said that? Somebody told me that when I was growing up, and I believed it all these doggone years. Oh, God. The heart's right here in the center. Ain't that crazy? This your heart center. This your chakra. Your heart chakra right here in the center. Let me get on here. So let me get off of here, actually. Get on with this. There's a way, if you're willing, to change the way you see it. Excuse me. So there is a way, if you're willing to change the way you see it, <laughs> there is a way, there is a way, there is a way, there is a way, just depends on the way you see it. Change the way you see it and you will find the way. What is this? What's this, y'all? Do it look like a stage? It seriously looks like a stage to me. Wow, that look like a speaker. Looks like a keyboard. Looks like a studio, a music studio. Wow. Okay, I really need to investigate this card some more. Look like the Cosmos on the screen, though. That's what it really looked like. There's a way if you're willing to change the way you see it. Damn, that's deep, y'all. This card, these cards are deep, actually. Like, it would take me a long time to get through all these cards that, um, that I have up here. Where's my, here it is. So that's it, y'all. That is the Oracle Creative Intuitive Reading that I got for us tonight. And, um, I'm really happy y'all joined me here today. Thank you for joining Shard Time, Shard Time One. If you're subscribed to this channel, you are a Shard Timer, doing time with Shard. And I thank you. I really am grateful for each and every one of y'all. We are approaching 1,500. 1,500 grateful subscribers. Because if you follow this channel, you are grateful. And I am most grateful for you. Okay. Thank you. Namaste. I'll see y'all back here. We got 18, 18 on the clock. Shard time one is out. And I'll see you back next time, y'all. Peace.